G'day off trackers. Welcome back to another product review. What are we doing this week, Ash? We are standing outside waiting to get rained on. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit, it's actually hit and miss, isn't it? When the sun comes out, it's getting warm, but then without the sun, it's still a bit cold. Uh, so this week we are doing the Smart Shunt by Hardcore. Really ripper product here. What, what it is, I'll basically run into what you get, what it is. Uh, so it's designed for anybody that has your standard non-smart batteries. Uh, and it's basically to turn them smart. So you hook up the Bluetooth shunt and then it'll give you all the information you want through that and it either gives it to you through their display or through a Bluetooth app, which is really good. Uh, and I have to say, I've used it now a couple of times. I'm really impressed. The data that this gives you on the app is better than the Bluetooth app that comes with their batteries. So I don't know why they didn't use the same same information, but this one will give you your time remaining till it's fully charged and time remaining till it's fully discharged, which is a handy add-on, which they should really roll into the app that comes with the battery. Disclaimer, we need to disclaimer, don't we, Ash? Yes. So, uh, as you guys now know, for the last couple of months, I've been doing, a fair, doing this in a fair few videos where I'm letting you know if I've purchased the product myself or if I've been sent it for free, if I'm being paid any money, which I'll never accept any money to do reviews. Uh, and I also won't do any affiliate affiliate marketing like other YouTubers. So yes, it'll stop me doing YouTube as a permanent job, but at least I know the information I'm giving you is coming from an honest opinion rather than a sales point of view. So I hope other YouTubers get on board and admit if they're doing affiliate marketing so that you guys can get honest reviews. So disclaimer done. Uh, so this product here, I bought it myself. Was not sent by, was not sent at Hardcore. I've got uh, a contact that works there but I'm not big enough channel for them to want to do any work with, so I definitely don't get anything for free. Everything from Hardcore that I use, I've had to buy myself. Getting into it. Uh, the price of one of these bad boys, if you get it from BCF, you're looking at $249.99. So again, not a bad price. It is a premium product. There's a Victron Smart Shunt that's on the market as well. Theirs is about 100 bucks left, less, $145.49. But your big difference is you don't get the screen. So for $100 more, you can get a screen, which I reckon is well worth it. Even if you don't use it, just store it away. And one day down the track, you may sit there and go, okay, I want to chuck in a battery display. Our plan is we're going to run this with our lifetime battery in our caravan to turn it Bluetooth. So that way we've got all the data. And I very well may hook up the display somewhere I haven't decided yet. Uh, what comes in the box? So... Ignore this, this is uh, an add-on that I've had to put on. It's something to note that if you're gonna run an inverter and draw a hell of a lot of uh, amps out of it, you need to have a big cable to do it. Otherwise it will literally melt the cable. So if you're not gonna be running any inverters off it, then you can forget about it. You can just use normal gauge cable. But you get the Bluetooth shunt. You get, I think it's about six meters of positive cabling. Uh, and then you get your communication cable that goes to the device as well as in the box this is really cool they give you a template so if you're going to be mounting the display you can basically draw inside there uh, and mark your screw points and then cut it all out nice and simple they give you a bit of rubber to put in between if you're mounting it and they give you a face shield then to cover the screws as well as actually supplying you the screws to do the job as well you get an instruction manual and that's about it. So everything you need to actually mount it, which is really cool, not making you buy anything extra. Into some stats for you guys, because we know that I like the stats, don't I, Ash? Love the stats. Except this time I've taken over. You're no longer stats woman. No. <laughs> uh, so basically, as I mentioned, your difference between this and other ones is you get the screen. Okay, so on the LCD screen, it'll let you know what you're using uh, or putting back in an amps. It'll let you know the current voltage of the battery. It'll also let you know the watts, which is really cool, being used or being put back in. Uh, it'll tell you the size of the battery, which you preset yourself in the settings. It'll tell you the percentage left on the battery, and it'll tell you the time remaining on the battery till it's either flat or until it's fully charged, depending on if you're discharging or charging. On the Bluetooth app, it'll give you the percentage left on the battery, It'll tell you the battery size. It'll give you the current voltage of the battery. It'll give you the amps being put in or taken out. And it'll give you the watts again being put in or taken out 
and the time remaining till charged or till fully flat. There's also a second page which is, I don't know, sort of information you probably wouldn't look at too much, uh, but it gives you basically history and some sort of deeper information into the battery, all the history that's been used, maximum uh, amps and minimums and all that sort of stuff. Handy information to have, but probably something I wouldn't look at. So the batteries that you can use this on, minimum is a 10 amp hour battery, and maximum is a 1,000 amp hour battery. That's a pretty bloody big battery. So that would be, I'm, I'm assuming a 1,000 amp hour battery, that would be like a house sort of size. So you can actually have Bluetooth for your house. That's pretty cool. Uh, maximum current that the shunt can handle. So I think it has, it's advertised like a 500 amp shunt, but that's just a surge. So we're going to ignore that. Uh, 350 amps is the maximum that it can continuously have running through it which is about 4,200 watts, depending on the volts uh, that, that you're putting it through as. Uh, and then the usage that it uses, so this is pretty handy. So because obviously it's gonna be powering a screen and uh, sending Bluetooth data, it is gonna draw from your battery. So remember to take that in mind. It's not a great deal though. It uses one watt or 0.15 amps when it's just sitting there idling. That's with the screen on. With the screen off, it uses less. Uh, operating temperature, the screen and all the Bluetooth will all work from minus 20 to plus 50 degrees Celsius. The size of the screen, you guys want me to give you this information, is 125 mil by 82 mil by 21 millimeters. It'll suit lithium batteries, AGM, wet, gel, and calcium batteries, so all your popular brands, no problem. Comes with a two year warranty, 30 day money back guarantee if you buy it from Hardcore themselves. And another really cool feature which not many people touch on with it is you can actually set a warning tone for low battery. It will come standard with one uh, and then you can change when it kicks in. And when we were doing the test of this battery, we saw that that actually kicked in and we warned me, I think it was like when I got down to 5%, it started beeping. So I actually really rate that as I had my hardcore battery go flat on me because my charger was no longer working and I had no idea. I just stopped looking at the Bluetooth app. And yeah, it would have been handy if the battery was sitting there giving me a warning tone that I would have known something was wrong. So what we'll do now, I'll show you how easy it is to hook up. Ignore the fact that this is red, it's actually negative. This all runs off the negative of your battery. So the way it works, you basically screw this into the negative terminal. Make sure you have it nice and tight so you don't get any voltage leak. And then you would run all of your negatives off this terminal here. So that's all your inverter, your charger, your power coming in. Everything then goes to this negative terminal. Your positive remains the same, all your positives go on there. The little wire is just to give it positive and give the, some power to the actual unit. Nice and simple. Again, remember, depending on what you plan on pulling out of the battery, will determine the size that you need there. Uh, so the screen, this is my one sort of negative with it. It is really quite dull, but I guess you're not gonna have the screen outside. You are gonna have it mounted in a car or somewhere like that, or in a caravan. But Ash, if you can see that, it's now lit up and given you all the information, but it is quite dark. So that's the only complaint I got, got against it. But really, the install is just super easy. That's it. It's now sending the data Bluetooth to my phone of this battery. So that'll wrap that up. I don't think there's much more for me to say on there. Say on it, is there, Ash? Nope, nice and simple. Nice and simple, nice quick one. This will be easy for me to edit. So yeah, guys, as always, like, comment, subscribe. You know how much it's really helping the channel grow. I've got a whole bunch of new subscribers, so really thank you to you guys. And I just want to give a big thanks to all the OGs. I'm now, what? three years of doing YouTube and I've had some people stick by me from the start to where I am now and the channel's changed and evolved heaps so thank you guys and thank you all the uh, companies that are jumping on board and giving me products to review and show you guys so till next time see ya